Hi everyone, I just thought I'd take you on a quick tour of one of my local Dollar Trees before I show you my Dollar Tree haul. As you can see, they have a lot of Easter things out. I'll check it out. I'm filming these hair ties because it's the first time I've seen where they have ones for fine hair, 
thick hair and extra thick hair. I thought it was rather interesting. Good morning, everyone. This is Carla from DIY Happy Home. Thanks for joining my channel. I hope everybody's doing well today. I wanted to show you my Dollar Tree haul. Uh, these are over two different stores, so two different hauls. Uh, and some things are seasonal and some crafty items and I wanted to show you what they had in my area. Um, I did get wood cutouts. These are color your own ornament. They come with the strings. I got the bunny, the chick, and I got the eggs. They also had carrots, I believe. I don't know if I bought the carrots. They might be in my bags uh, somewhere. And uh, my daughter wants to do a craft with me. So she loves yellow. She picked two yellow bird birds. Um, super cute. They look like a little boy and girl love birds. And for my children here, I did get um, a yarn craft kit that makes little bunny pom poms. This is uh, it's a kit. It looks like it has two. Um, most likely for my daughter. I don't know if my boys would be interested in that. And I did get the magical adhesive dots for crafting. And the fasteners, like the Velcro fastener. I have like stuff all over this from the moss that I bought. Um, some fastener dots in the craft section of the Dollar Tree. And these are what's making the mess. <laughs> I did get the, um, the floral moss and some Spanish moss for some spring projects. These are some of the favorite things that I got. I got some treat sacks. There are two in a pack. These are adorable, adorable. The ears are floppy. They have cute little stripes on there. And it's a pack of two. I just think you can't, you can't beat it for the price. And I bought a bunch because I'm going to make a garland with them. And I just thought they're adorable. I did buy one of these in black and I saw one this time in this tan color. These are rugs. It's supposed to be a rug. Uh, I feel like you can make awesome throw pillows with this. Um, I don't use it as a rug. I use it to put on furniture, um, like a little furniture mat. And I already have the black one and loved it. See how it's very nice. Um, it's woven and it can protect your furniture. You put it on there like a little mat. Um, this one's a little wrinkled because it's been in the bag. I felt like these are really cute uh, for Easter baskets to clip some of the treat bags and make it a little more decorative or if you're giving gifts to someone to do that as well or if you wanna hang a garland or decor in your home. Uh, basically to add a little decorative accent on anything and then um, same thing with these these felt stickers with their little carrots and they're so detailed for a dollar you get nine pieces uh, I thought that was so cute and for a craft that my daughter and I are going to do she wanted to get these pearls and they are going to be bird eggs in our little craft and I did get some styrofoam for our craft. I don't know if you have anyone has a planner or, or a happy planner or anything like that, but I love these Let's Planner stickers. This is a 265 piece set and they had, um, I actually have two other varieties. I am a big sticker, uh, paper products, art supplies person. I just love, um, I like embellishments and things like that. You could use these for crafting or organizing, anything you want. And uh, for the price, I don't think it can be beat. I know for Happy Planner stickers, they are a lot more money unless you can get them on discount. Um, but a dollar, 265 pieces, and really cute. To do, it's got payday, today. Uh, really cute planner stickers. Stay cool, live in the moment. Love it. Dollar Tree also has some great workbooks for kids. Um, I got two kindergarten workbooks. 
first words and first words for the kindergarten grade for my twin boys. This one has uh, a red robot my son is going to love. And uh, I do those with them after school so they get practice. I don't know if you know this, but Dollar Tree has tons of stationary items and I constantly am losing pens in my home. So I thought I would give these a try. These are retractable pens. It's an eight pack. You can't beat the price for a dollar compared to what you would pay elsewhere. And then I bought for my daughter one of these artist sketchbooks. And then my boys were trying to use it and it caused a big fight. So I told them I'll get them each one and we'll put their name on the outside so that you know, my daughter isn't like, you're using my notebook. And then, so they'll each have their own. They're all into drawing comics. And it's a 50 sheet. This one is um, no lines, so it's perfect for what they're doing. And then for me, I got a, it's a smaller one that I can put in my purse. Um, well, it's like a medium size, not like a real small, medium size notebook. And it's got a hundred sheets. For Easter, um, or actually I'm gonna probably use it as a treat beforehand. I got uh, the Peeps Marshmallow Cotton Candy version because my kids do love cotton candy and I thought that it would be interesting uh, to try them. It's a five pack, so I'll share. I don't like to give them too much sugar, so uh, I'm gonna share it between the kids and it'll be like a little treat. Uh, what else do we have? Easter stuff, more Easter stuff. I think these are so cute. Little carrot Easter eggs, pack of three. And then these are sort of, for me, like a must have. I just thought they were so cute. Little, I mean, it would take a long time to make four of these. Carrots with the little green tops. You can do a carrot theme. Pretty, pretty colors. I love this aqua color, so I got two, two of the aqua. I, for a dollar, it is for three yards of ribbon. And they had a lot of succulents in at mine. So I thought these are really handy. I got a three, they had a bunch of different varieties of these. But I got three different pack, two, three packs of pack of two each, succulent clips, and they're a different variety on each. They have the handy dandy clips there. You can scatter them throughout your home. They did have these last year, and I love them because you could craft with them or leave them as is. They had a, the six pack of speckled eggs. Okay, these I just love. Okay. Get ready for cuteness. Happy Easter. It's got glitter and a bunny butt. So cute for a dollar. I just love that. I don't know if you can see the bunny butt up close. It has a little, little cotton tail. Adorable. You can hang it up, put it inside the middle of a wreath would be really cute. I, I rarely see a little girl bunny and I thought it's so cute. It says spring. There's a little glue string there. It says spring and then she's got a little dress on and I just thought it was so cute. You'll see in my Dollar Tree video the ribbons that they had and these are the two that I purchased. Um, this one's so cute. It's got like a little almost it's got mini almost lace or pom-poms it's kind of hard to see I hope the camera picks it up and this other one has little succulents and or cacti little heart look at that look at the detail sorry about the glare adorable adorable I've never seen these before at the Dollar Tree doesn't mean they haven't existed but I've never seen them uh, and you can even use, if you didn't like the designs, but the designs are adorable, to recraft. But they're rounds, and they have several different designs. They have some with words, and if you, you're like, that's enough with the words, I want just designs, no wording. These are little ornaments like, and I, they have a string on the back attached. Some of the strings were falling off. It looks like a wire to make it an ornament. But some of these were falling off, so if you purchase one and you do want the wire, 
Just make sure yours is attached when you purchase it. But you could even sand these down. They're perfectly round discs if you want to make something on your Cricut. Um, they almost look like little coasters. They're wooden, but you could probably use it as a coaster. Uh, look at this one. So it's really, really cute. Blossom. They had other designs, but I, d I did purchase four, and I just think they're so spring, spring looking, very festive, and I, I love that they're round. Okay, I did get a garland, a felt bunny garland with pom poms, and the colors on in these are great. We've got aqua, hot pink, a fuchsia color, lavender, light pink, yellow, lime green, with the little pom pom. But so cute, little tail, adorable. I love it. I know they've had these previous years. I've actually never purchased one before, but this is a ceramic painting set. And I love the sweet little bunny. And I doubt I'm gonna use these paints for it, but just to even leave white as is, I think it's very cute, so I decided to get one to tuck in uh, for my decor, or I could spray paint it white or metallic, whatever. Whatever It would be really a uh, cute accent. Uh, my daughter, she's really into uh, modeling clay right now. So you get 12 sticks for, for a dollar, and uh, she has used these before, and they're, they're really good. So. Uh, I tuck that away for when she needs uh, something to do or is complaining she's bored. I got orange, pink, and blue. And it comes with the block mold. Now, this almost feels like the modeling dough that hardens. So I'll be curious. I try to glance on here and see what it said. And it's probably here and I just, I just missed it. But I don't know if this... After a few drops of water, oh, it says you can add a few drops of water if the dough dries out. So I don't, this might not be, this might be just the type of Play-Doh. I didn't know if it was the modeling magic type or Play-Doh type. But it, each one comes with a block mold and then you can build with it. So it looked like something that all three of my kids are really into sculpting right now and the Play-Doh. So I thought that was great. The last thing I got were these, these treat, oh, that's not true. I have a couple more things to show. Were these treat sacks, and these are four pack of treat sacks. And they're a little bit less detailed than the ones that come in a pack of two, but I thought just to package stuff up in Easter baskets uh, or for an Easter egg hunt, uh, and look, they, they package up with two little ears. So cute. So cute. Just, just to compare, let me get the other one so you can see the difference. This one, this one has the floppy, like floppy striped ears and it's burlappy looking on the other side and it has a drawstring. And this one um, has a cute little face, but it looks like you'll tie it up. I'm gonna open one. It looks like you'll tie it up yourself with the twine. Let's open one up here and see. Yes, it's cut at the top. And then when you cinch it together, you could stuff it with like fiber fill or pack a paper towel or something if you wanna just use it as decoration around the house. And then you would tie it up. Really, really cute. Imagine it filled. Adorable. I love it. And let's see what else. I think I have a couple more things. Some practical items. One food item. I did get a um, practical item, eyeglass cleaner. My glasses are always dirty. These are, This says, I haven't tried it yet, but it says it's anti-fog, anti-static, and non-abrasive for glass, plastic, and polycarbonate lenses. So I'm excited to try that because my glasses are always, they always seem dirty. This has like that moss stuff on it. And then I got a really pretty jar. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but even for my pantry, I got a pretty like 
almost a rose gold colored lid and kind of like a beehive type pattern. And then the last thing I got, because I was hungry, were pretzel crisps. You can get a three ounce bag there for, for a buck. And uh, I think that, is that everything? I think that's everything, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know what good things you guys have purchased at the Dollar Tree. They did have a lot of things I wanted to buy, but I know this, uh, it sounds not saying I turned it down, but they had so many like Easter signs and Easter decor. And I was like, oh, you gotta like dial that girl. So I, I, I did do take some video in the store that I'm going to show you. Uh, but let me know what you've been getting. What, what kind of finds have you been purchasing or checking out, resisting even at the Dollar Tree? Uh, let me know and hit that subscribe button to receive for future videos that have shopping hauls, crafts, and uh, recipes, anything to do with the home. I hope y'all are doing well and I will catch you next time. Bye!